The Biden administration has reached an agreement to supply Ukraine with depleted uranium shells for their M1A1 Abrams tanks, which the United States is sending to the country. Additionally, Britain has already delivered tanks to Ukraine equipped with depleted uranium shells. Depleted uranium or DU munitions, which were developed in the 1970s, are not nuclear weapons and do not cause a nuclear explosion. To understand depleted uranium, it's important to know what it is and what is known about potential health and environmental risks. Uranium, represented by the symbol U, is a naturally occurring element with radioactive properties. Natural uranium mainly consists of three isotopes, U-234, U-235, and U-238. These isotopes are all forms of uranium and possess similar chemical characteristics, but they differ slightly in mass, as denoted by their respective numbers, 234, 235, and 238. Depleted uranium primarily consists of U-238, along with small amounts of other isotopes, including U-235. U-235 is fissile, meaning it can undergo a reaction that releases a significant amount of energy. In relatively low concentrations, U-235 is used as fuel in commercial nuclear reactors. However, in high concentrations, it can be utilized for nuclear weapons. The process of enrichment is employed by engineers to extract U-235 from natural uranium ore. The remaining uranium after the extraction of U-235 is referred to as depleted uranium. All forms of uranium are radioactive, and each isotope has its own distinct half-life. U-238, the most abundant naturally occurring isotope, constitutes approximately 99.27% of all natural uranium. It takes around 4.5 billion years, roughly the age of the Earth, for half of a given quantity of uranium-238 to decay into other elements. U-235 has a half-life of about 700 million years and accounts for approximately 0.72% of natural uranium. Depleted uranium is approximately 40% less radioactive than natural uranium. Over time, all isotopes of uranium decay, emit radiation and energetic particles while transforming into different chemical elements. During this decay process, specific isotopes of other radioactive elements such as thorium, protactinium, and radium are produced. Depleted uranium can be fabricated into an extremely dense material, approximately 1.7 times denser than lead. This density gives it advantageous properties for use in munitions. Due to its status as a byproduct of the nuclear fuel cycle, depleted uranium is readily available. When formed into projectiles like bullets or shells, its high density allows for effective penetration of targets. Advanced tanks utilize depleted uranium in their armor to defend against armor-piercing munitions. The density of depleted uranium also provides the munition with higher momentum, enabling it to penetrate through various materials. Upon penetrating a target, the munition may fragment into smaller pieces and ignite, causing additional damage. Depleted uranium munitions have been utilized in various military operations, such as the Gulf War in 1990-1991, the Kosovo conflict in the Balkans in 1998-1999, and U.S. operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. Apart from the United States and the United Kingdom, countries like Russia, France, and China are known to possess depleted uranium munitions in their arsenals, while other nations may also import them. In addition to military applications, depleted uranium has found uses outside the armed forces. Its high density makes it valuable for shielding against radiation in medical, research, and nuclear facilities.
It can also serve as ballast in ships and aircraft, helping balance weight and provide stability. The alpha radiation emitted by depleted uranium is not powerful enough to penetrate human skin, so simply being in proximity to depleted uranium does not pose a health risk. However, if depleted uranium is ingested, inhaled, or if fragments remain in the body, it can become a health hazard. Numerous studies have been conducted to investigate the potential health effects of depleted uranium exposure. These studies include research on soldiers struck by depleted uranium fragments and biomonitoring efforts, involving the collection of urine, feces, fingernail clippings, and hair samples from exposed individuals. Investigations have also reviewed military personnel exposed to depleted uranium during and after combat. Some studies have detected uranium levels above natural concentrations in samples taken from soldiers who served in the Gulf War, Bosnia, and Afghanistan and had embedded depleted uranium fragments in their bodies. However, other studies examining Gulf War illness in veterans found no difference in uranium concentrations in urine between exposed and unexposed groups. The U.S. Department of Defense and Veterans Administration initiated a monitoring program for depleted uranium exposure during the Gulf War, which is ongoing. To date, these agencies have not observed any adverse clinical effects related to documented exposures. Remnants of exploded depleted uranium munitions, including fragments and smaller particles, can persist in the soil long after conflicts end. This raises concerns about potential radiation or toxic threats to individuals who come into contact with these materials, such as local residents or peacekeeping forces. Overall, studies on individuals inadvertently exposed to battlefield remnants of depleted uranium munitions indicate low radiation doses and minimal chemical exposure that are generally indistinguishable from background levels. The scientific literature does not extensively address the extent to which plants or animals can absorb depleted uranium from munition fragments, although laboratory studies suggest this is possible. Researchers and health professionals agree that very high levels of uranium, whether depleted or not, may lead to chemical toxicity in plants, although such occurrences would likely be limited to the immediate vicinity of the munitions detonation. Ongoing scientific research aims to enhance our understanding of how depleted uranium particles behave in the environment to better predict long-term environmental effects. It is evident that significant areas of Ukraine's territory will contain remnants of conflict, including weapon fragments, spilled fuels, and explosive residues long after the fighting ceases. The governments of the United States and the United Kingdom believe that providing depleted uranium munitions will enhance Ukraine's ability to counter Russian tanks and bring the conflict to a resolution.